What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 13.6 which currently is the latest version available and of course we're going to do that with Checkrain. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software WhatsApp business transfer which allows you to transfer your WhatsApp business or normal WhatsApp conversations from your Android to your iPhone and vice versa. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably know the iOS 13.6 is currently the latest version available for iOS and of course is jailbreakable using the Checkrain jailbreak. Unfortunately the uncovered jailbreak hasn't been updated just yet so we still need a TFP0 kernel exploit if we want to actually jailbreak with the uncover but the Checkrain jailbreak which works with the iPhone on 10 and lower actually works pretty fine. Now if you want to jailbreak iOS 13.6 with the Checkrain jailbreak you have to get the latest version available which is this one in here. It says Checkrain 0.10.2. Now if you check the change log in here you can see that the latest version to be added was 13.5 however it does work with 13.6 as well and it would definitely work properly if you install it. So all you have to do is to download the macOS version or of course if you have Linux you can definitely go here to the old downloads and get the Linux version. However, you should keep in mind that there is no Windows version for the moment and it's probably not going to be available for a long time. So yeah, if you want to install it and you have a Windows computer, I definitely recommend you to create a live Linux environment on a USB flash drive. You can do that with Ubuntu or you can do that with Fedora or any other version like Kali and stuff like that and they would work pretty fine. And you don't have to give up on Windows either. You can just put that on a USB flash drive, you can Google how to create a live USB with Linux and the computer would boot from that flash drive drive and of course if you take off the flash drive it would boot normally to Windows so you would be able to run the Linux executables in here. So I actually have the macOS version in here but the procedure is actually quite the same. So I have my iPhone 7 Plus in here. Ignore the iOS version. This works for every single iOS version that is supported so iOS 12 all the way up to 13.6. Now as I said this doesn't support 13.6 by default but you have to go here to options and there's an option in here allow untested iOS, iPadOS, tvOS and stuff like that. So you have to check that one and press back. Now you can press start in here with the phone connected and of course you have to press next. And now your phone will go into the recovery mode. The recovery mode shows basically a laptop logo and a power cable. If you see that you can press in here start and start putting your device in DFU mode by following the instructions on the screen. And as you can see the device got into DFU mode in here. It says right before the trigger and right now there is nothing on the screen but the phone will boot in a couple of seconds and yeah I can see the Apple logo and the check rain logo now and a bunch of text. Don't worry, it's normal. This is how it boots if you are the first time on Checkrain. Now you should keep in mind that the Checkrain jailbreak compared to the uncovered jailbreak is actually semi-tethered, which means that if you reboot your phone there will be no application to start your jailbreak again from the phone. You will have to do the same procedure with this program in here again on the computer. Now it says in here all done, so I can press done in here and basically the phone is now jailbroken and I'm going to get back to the phone and show you exactly that. Alright, so after you use the Checkrain your phone would boot and you would have an application called Checkrain in here and of course you wouldn't have Cydia by default. So in order to install Cydia you would go here to the Checkrain and there will be an option to install Cydia. So it would basically show like this and then of course you're going to get the Cydia option like this. In my case it shows reinstall but in your case it would be install so you would press install and it will say downloading base system and of course this may take a couple of minutes depending on how fast your internet connection is but at this point your Cydia will be installed and of course everything required for Cydia to work of course for tweaks to work will be installed so that you can run the tweaks with no problem here on iOS 13.6. So as you can see it says installing Cydia and at this point we're waiting for it to finalize and at that point you will be able to install the tweaks and of course they work pretty fine but do keep in mind that this jailbreak doesn't work on the A12 and A13 devices so no iPhone XS, XS Max, XR and of course no iPhone 11 or 11 Pro. So as you can see Cydia does show up in here you open it and your device will be good to go. I do have a problem with a repo though in here and as you can see everything seems to be fine. You do have the Cydia in here and of course your sources do show and as you can see I already have a couple of updates so if you want to do the upgrades you can do them. I'm going to ignore them temporarily and as you can see everything does show up properly including the tweaks and stuff like that. So yeah that's basically how you do it. That's how you jailbreak iOS 13.6 which currently is the latest version on pre-8.12 devices. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.